traveling. Are you allowed to travel in the month of Ramadan? Some people are under the impression that it's haram to travel. Because if you travel, you're going to have to break your fast. In the school of Ahlul Bayt, it is perfectly legitimate to travel in the month of Ramadan. For any reason, except a haram reason of course. We already mentioned before that if someone travels for an illegitimate purpose, for a haram purpose, then they would have to keep their fast. But it's allowed for you to travel in the month of Ramadan even if you're traveling for the sole purpose of what? Of breaking your fast. You don't have any business except running away from the fast. This is highly unrecommended, it's highly makruh, you're missing out on the reward of the month of Ramadan. And remember the ahadith indicate that the month of Ramadan has a special reward you cannot get by doing the qadha. You can't get by doing the qadha. So don't miss out on this great reward. But if you want to travel just for the sake of breaking your fast, you have an exam that day, you're just tired, you don't feel like fasting, whatever it may be, this is allowed. I know if you ask people in the community, maybe 60-70% of them will have an issue with this and they'll tell you, no, 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 it's haram. You can't travel just to break your fast, that, 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 does, that doesn't work. But based on the rulings of the Ahlul Bayt, you can do that. You know, the Imams were asked, a person travels for any purpose in the month of Ramadan. The Imam salam says, yes, he has the right to travel and break his fast and then he will make it up later. So if you have an exam in the month of Ramadan and you need that coffee to stay alert and, you know, do well on the exam, First of all, have tawakkul on Allah. I really believe He will help you, as difficult as it is. When you're fasting and you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah compensates. Many people will attest to that. But let's say you just need to break your fast, travel. Go outside of your metro area, 16 miles, round trip, come back, and uh, you know, go and take that test. This is something that you should do as opposed to just breaking your fast like that. I know a lot of people, if they have final exams, maybe their parents pressure them, their families pressure them, or whatever the cause is, they will break their fast. And when you tell them why, this is a big sin to break the fast in the month of Ramadan, say it, I had to, I have an exam, I have to. Well, if you must, at least travel. At least go and travel, that way you didn't do any haram. That way you didn't make any violation of Sharia Allah. So if you must break your fast in the month of Ramadan for whatever reason, at least travel so that breaking the fast becomes legitimate for you.